all right we are good to go finally we have the result and uh <laughs> i got your text in the middle of the night <laughs> yeah it's like i guess everybody knows it it will be all headline on the newspaper Listen, and on old facebook right my wife found out before me i was sitting down because there's there's this live stream that's connected to the courthouse and i was watching that and then I was like, damn, are these people not going to give us this result today? Like, what's going on? And a few people are speculating. Some people are like, yo, the longer they take to come back, you know, Johnny might not do so. With them. And I'm like, you got to be on crack. Like, you have to be out of your mind if with the evidence that was presented, anyone could ever believe that Amber Heard wasn't abusing Johnny Depp. I'm like, come on, man. Like, this is crazy. So... I'm sitting down and when I don't see anything happening, I'm like, you know what? I'm playing with my daughter. And then my wife just goes, Gio, Johnny Depp won. And I was like, what? I was like, say, it. I was like, you're lying. She's like, no, no, no. And she read the headline on her phone. And I was like, put my kid down. I was like, hey, baby, I got that daddy got to look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and then she walked off. I was like, yeah. Because, I mean, ultimately, what has been happening is this, right? The world is in this space now where the moment a woman says something, you are expected to believe her. And that cannot be the case. It's like if a woman accuses a man, and I'm not saying that there aren't predators out there, right? People who are hurting people. But if a woman accuses a man, the moment she does, that's it. Blacklist, red tape. Nobody needs to know you anymore. Nobody's going to work with you. And everyone sat behind the lies that she told and just said, yeah. And for, for the people who don't know, right? In the UK 2020 trial, when the judge in the UK, who's the expert on domestic violence and all that, gave the verdict, what they didn't tell people was that there were a lot of people who, and evidence that was not introduced in that case. So it was like, imagine you going somewhere with a handicap, knowing I can't present all my evidence, but I have to somehow convince these people that I never abused this woman even though they had to bring up things that were not related to defamation, they had to basically impeach all testimony and all evidence from the past trial so that this jury with fair eyes could see, yo, wait a minute, like this, this isn't what you said before. Like that's not adding up. This is wrong. And when they went, when they read through the count, they were like reading through all the statements did the statement yes and everything the jury just answered yes 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 going on. i'm like yeah how much money you gonna give my dude how much <laughs> but they only ended up awarding johnny depp like 15 million so 10 million in compensate in compensatory losses and 5 million in punitive damages and then for her basically the jury found that one of the statements that you know his former lawyer mr waldman made was to a certain degree defamatory. So they gave her compensatory damages for $2 million, but no punitive damages. So basically, mm -hmm. do the but math. That is, not, that is not even Johnny Depp's fault, right? It, that it, is, yeah, is but because lawyer, the guy was his lawyer, because the guy was mm -hmm. his lawyer, basically, if you make a statement as someone's lawyer, even if you make that statement outside of that person's presence, you are assumed to be speaking in representation of that person's thoughts. So yeah. legally speaking- But, but I, that doesn't relate it to the past, the situation in the court, you know? Oh, no. We, 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 it, uh, what they did was this. She had no countersuit that she was gonna make at all. They tried to have the judge throw out the case. And when the judge decided, no, that was not gonna happen, that's when her team decided to file a countersuit for a hundred million dollars because they thought, and see, when you use figures like that, it's only because they're hoping that the matter will just get resolved. Like people go to mediation or something like that. That's never going to happen. Right? So in my mind, how I put it together is this. The jury said, Hey, we know this bitch been abusing this man. Like, yeah, that statement, you know, it might have been a little thing, but she been abusing him and she did defame him. But guess what? When we find her guilty, they're not going to feature her in Aquaman. She's not going to get paid. So the least we can do is give her some money so that, you know, she can kind of break even. Because 
the president of DC Comics came out and said that, yo, like we did with Warner Brothers decide that we were going to exercise the option on her contract. And if they exercise the option, it means that they never had to cast her as Mira in the next coming film. But you know what's funny about it? Let me give you a real joke. When everyone, there's this one expert witness that she brought. What was her name again? Was it Catherine? This woman who said that she had been working in the film industry for 25 plus years. And she did the comparative analysis between Amber Heard and all these people. Everyone she compared Amber Heard to, to say where her career should have been, are all people who are superstars in their own right. Award-winning people, people who have had immense careers, even people who didn't do much but still got super popular. So this woman, and the moment she gave her testimony, I said one thing to my wife. I was like, this woman's a feminist. She's like, how do you know? Because she said, oh, the poster that sold Aquaman showed Jason Momoa and Amber Heard standing together like a strong, powerful couple. And I'm like, bitch, please. This man is standing with a trident in his hand and she's looking at him. Ain't nothing strong and powerful about her. So she's saying, oh, Amber Heard helped to sell the show. I'm like, God damn, that's a lie. Women love Jason Momoa. Men love Jason Momoa. So I said, mm-hmm. I, wanted to, I, wanted to test, I wanted to test her popularity st- 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 statement. So I said to my wife, because my wife was like, on the other side of the room, I was like, babe, you know Jason Momoa? My wife was like, hell yeah, everybody knows Jason Momoa. So I go, babe, you know Amber Heard? My wife was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, she knows now. She knows now. At least. But, at least. But I'm telling you, before this trial, my wife had no idea who Amber Heard was. And my wife doesn't even watch movies. But she knows who Jason yeah. Momoa is. Come on. Like, yeah. I, was I, would, like, I would say Amber Heard is still have some, you know, some level of popularity for somehow but there's no comparison yeah. to like Johnny Depp for sure, right this is what it is she became popular because of the me too movement she was made an ambassador for domestic rights she was made a un ambassador as well too the united nations crowned her an ambassador now they're gonna strip that because these people have found hey this woman is a liar so you know she's gonna lose that post but she was a un ambassador slash representative for uh dv issues as well too which is so weird the thing is women made her popular because they put her on a platform based on lies that she told even the jury found that all her statements the jury said yes we believe her statements were all false Mm -hmm. so she got a large platform based on the fact that she was a liar so yeah she became popular because you know these days everybody who's a feminist and I'm not going to say feminist like feminist, uh, feminism is bad. Let me, let, me, let me pull that back a little bit. Because I'm a feminist. Because I personally believe no man should be babysitting a woman. Like, you need to find somebody who's going to help you to build an empire. So your woman ain't supposed to just be taken care of. But she needs to be that person who can bridge you off, balance you off, and ensure that you can grow business as well, too. Because if all she's doing is soaking up your cash, then that's some traditional stuff that I don't necessarily think is applicable to today's day. You need somebody who can give you even their ideas on something that you're doing that's going to help you build but that's that's a sidebar what happens is this right where do i go with that thought <laughs> <laughs> okay let me let me let me put this first you know like yeah you're just talking about Ember her right and uh, right i guess i guess she she would not get any opportunity i mean in a short term of short term period of time to get some you know actress opportunity oh yeah that's not gonna happen not right now and people are thinking about what if there's people uh, have some fun you know conversation and say what if right now she has her own only fans account which (laughs) would that she make money from that hey she might make money from the women who support her because women are still gonna support her you know for them it's gonna be this Um, thing of yeah uh you know we believe amber but the thing is this right and this is my point that i lost earlier Toxic feminism. That's where everything goes off. Right? Yeah, actually, I want to say about this, right? Actually, I, I have a positive, actually positive, what's the word? A thought about the world, actually, because a lot of women, they stood up and yeah. face Amber Heard. And we talk about Camilla, right? Yeah, I mean, no, Ca- she Camilla is Vasquez. the one who can beat her. And she made yeah. it. Just imagine if there's a man right there and tra- try to challenge, or you know, Amber Heard. 
that doesn't look good, you know. <clears throat> right. So, Listen, let me tell you, Camila Vasquez, that young lady, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if ever someone suspects me of a crime, I'm selling this thing behind me and I'm telling her that she's my lawyer. I'm really like, this is about $5 million worth of painting. I'm selling it and I'm going to reach out to her and be like, I need you to be my lawyer. I don't care where you are. I need you to be my lawyer. Like that girl, she made that case. I'm telling you, like she crushed them. But mm. even without everybody else, she could have crushed them by herself. She was a G. No, yeah, I was saying about like, you know, this kind of event actually, of course, I think it's good for all the humankind somehow, like all humankind. But I would say, because we're talking about Red Pill, right? Actually, Red Pill community right. doesn't really talk about this event. So what I'm trying to say, actually, it's good for liberal side people. Because if, if, if Amber Heard win this case, you know what? She will be the red meat. You know, so, they, they will give the red pill community a good story. No, no, the, no, the, no, no, no. The thing is this, and, and I would say it's the inverse. This is good for the red pill community because... Men like Johnny Depp exist in the Red Pill community. Men who have been abused, men who are in the MGTOW section of the manosphere and things like that, right? Men who have been under the heels of women and they're saying, no, nah, I'm going my own way. Men like that have been in support of Johnny Depp because a lot of men who are abused don't speak out about it, right? See, it's and it's also a part of your personal development as a man like look at johnny depp a lot of people that think yeah johnny depp's an alpha male johnny depp has dated supermodels johnny depp is a multi-millionaire he has all these penthouse apartments but what johnny depp was not an alpha male because even after all the wonderful relationships he's had in supermodels he still found this one woman who was able to zero him out and almost yep. cancel his career so, so that's so, what i say. it's good for the humankind you know what it's like not it's good for appeal yeah, yeah, it's good for it's, it's good for good society for as a whole, but and it's not good I'm, for liberals. It's not good for liberals because uh, liberals yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, were yeah, in I'm, support of Johnny Depp. It's more so mm -hmm. good for conservatives because conservative media has been covering mm -hmm. this more than anyone else. As a matter of fact, liberal news outlets like CNN, MSNBC, and all these other places, they wrote you know, all these different articles about Johnny Depp when it happened because all of them have their gossip column sections and whatnot. But they wrote those articles based on bad evidence and hearsay and lies, to be honest. But now, yeah. because of this trial, you've been seeing all these articles coming out where people are just having to admit that, hey, you know, yeah, she lied. And um, it does seem as though Johnny Depp was the one being abused, even though at the same time, while they say it, they still write negatively because there are some red pill uh, and not even really red pill, but some male spokespersons in the content creator sphere who have been named in the trial and in news articles as being pro Depp supporters. But what they were really supporting was the truth, not just Johnny Depp. They were supporting the truth, but because they were men, it seemed like, oh, there's the manosphere trying to take over the media. But what they were trying to do was report the case in a fair and balanced way and actually show all the evidence. Yeah, so remember the first video we made? Now I was mm -hmm. talking about like if you don't like red pill community, actually the best way, the best strategy is just that the Amber Heard get the punishment. So what I mean by that is actually in this case that I would say is we we don't let or this case doesn't let the black pill. That would be the better way to to phrase it to right. have this red meat excuse to make a big story and talk about this, you know, you know, feminism and whatever take over the world or something like that, right? So yeah. That's what I'm trying to say is you can see a lot of female or a lot of liberal. That's what I'm trying to like metaphor. They they spoke out. Yeah. Right. So we are like, OK, guys, you take responsibility. So we got nothing to say. You just do, you know, what you do. And it's great. And boom. Right. So that's why I say it's good. When I say it's good for liberal, I'm talking about like it's good for both sides. And it's not like the red pill wins and liberal rules. It's like both win. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that is that's what I meant, you know. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true because mm -hmm. there are less there are lessons to be learned from all of it from both sides, and that mm -hmm. by itself, the number one lesson is this whole thing where they say, "Oh, believe women first. No, believe evidence first. Believe facts first. 
Because the moment you say believe women first, that automatically makes every single man guilty. And the funny thing was, Amber Heard herself is also a female abuser. Not that she's a woman who abused a man, but she's a woman who abused other women. She abused her sister and she, so when you look at it, there's nuance to the whole thing. Women abuse men and women abuse women. That is what people need to see these days and stop making it seem like, oh, it's all, it's men against women and we're fighting each other in the world. No, nah, like, yes, there is power dynamics in relationships, but when it comes down to things like this, social issues where people are talking about domestic violence, we have to be fair. We can't just say, oh, believe women first. We have to look at the evidence. And that is the approach that needs to be taken going forward. People need to see things for what they are. Like the fact that I said to you earlier that I saw video evidence, like I thought it was a joke, but there was this one person who watched the live stream so much that they were able to capture the instance when Amber Heard is taking this pill. Now, I'm not saying that it's drugs, but she hid to do it. Now, this is what I mean. Johnny Depp was in the trunk. He had his bubble gum or whatever it was, and every now and again, he would pop one, put it in his mouth. The footage that they show of Amber Heard, she does this. She raises her hand like she's trying to scratch her or something, and then she goes like this. And covers, covers the rest of her face with her other hand, and she's mm -hmm. chewing slightly. Yeah, and I'm like, what the hell was that? So I watched it again. I was like, she really is popping pills in the courthouse. You can't tell me that's not a psychotic person. She, she's on something. And if, if it was for her mental state or whatnot, she would have simply declared in the court that, hey, she has prescription pills with her and she's going to take them. And it's perfectly fine to take your prescription pills. But you can't be over there pretending to be a saint and hiding and taking drugs. What are you doing? <laughs> she's crazy, man. I'm and you she's, she's crazy. She's filed for the appeal. Is that a, is that a word? Appealing? That she keeps keep like not giving up and make more like, you know. So I haven't I haven't gone into whether or not she can appeal it. Um, I checked I the news. Think... Maybe it's not correct. Maybe I have to check it out since we made yeah, some mistake I, last no. time too. Is that we talked about? Yeah, Katie. yeah. Katie, but the Katie, thing is, this right? Kate Moss is then, and we have to finish this. Right. Like, we made another mistake <laughs> again. Kate <laughs> Moss is... did a marriage to Johnny Depp. Yeah, and they, they don't had have no any kids daughter and sons <laughs> like. Okay, we got to sorry it again, but like that's nobody cares about this right now. But we have to right. say something about what we made the mistake. So yeah, we are so talking about this winning. <laughs> so what I'm gonna say is this: what I searched for afterward, after the victory, mm -hmm. was if her team had put out any speeches, and they didn't. When they were leaving the courthouse, they left before the press started to gather. So they left. I saw the footage of them leaving. It was just. Her and her sister and her legal team, she jumped in the van. There was hardly anyone there. And the sheriffs escorted her out. But by the time Johnny's team was getting out, bruh, the doors of the courthouse was raging with women who loved Johnny Depp, the media, ready, you know and, ready like, to go. The, actually, the best moment is that, right? It's uh, actually is the the moment is Johnny Depp is not in the core and she's exactly. having fun and played a <laughs> band in UK. That is the most... Exactly. <laughs> the... the, the uh, the rest it's of like us, a, a tough moment. It's not tough. How can I say the cool moment? Right there is like exactly. Like, the rest I don't of even us care world. if I win or lose. <laughs> I've win already. It's like I'm one already. Exactly. And I, it, it's yeah. like I I've done my job, and I don't give a shit about this anymore. You know, exactly, it's just like because... his attitude about he's making movie. Every time he make he finish his movie, he like he doesn't watch his movies. Like what the fuck? Exactly. You know, I, I, in a way, you know, once once my job is done on the film, it's really none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> really, none of your business. So, so you deliberately don't look at the finished product? Oh, yeah. I stay as far away as I possibly can. Is that can. right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's like this, right? It was, it was supposed to be about public opinion. Johnny Depp just wanted people to weigh the evidence. He didn't care because the thing is this. Allegations like that, every article that was printed remains printed. They will never disappear. The media outlets that wrote them will never detract them. They're never going to take them down. Her people who on her side who wrote stories like the guy called 
Io Tillett right, which I'm not even sure. I, I don't know if he's if he considers himself gender non-binary or not, whatever, because I heard someone referring to him as they. But he went, he, he, exactly. He went on this platform called Medium and wrote this article about, you know, about this famous couple, he was there and how, and this is how stupid it was. He said, I saw the pillows with the blood. Like, at no point in time in his entire article when he's talking about Johnny Depp as this monster, did he ever say he saw it himself? Everything was, I saw the pillows, I saw this. You saw staged evidence. The, the chunks of hair that she claims the man ripped out of her head, there was no skin attached to it. It literally looked like this much hair on the ground. And the moment I saw it, I was like, bruv, if you cut your hair and put it on the ground, then yeah, sure. It looks like someone put hair on the ground and I ripped it out. Because when you see the patch in her head, and I guarantee you this because I've seen women in the hair just so long before. When Caucasian women move their hair, when they part it, you see directly onto their scalp. It's not like, oh, you can't fabricate that. You can move your hair enough to create a patch on your scalp and then take a picture of it. But there was no evidence of it being um, being crusted over from forming a scab of any kind of plasma, blood, anything like that. I'm like, how are you going to take pictures of an injury without showing the nature of the injury? Mm. Everything that Everything that she said happened, she took pictures of things that were near to it, but not the thing itself. All your injuries that you took pictures of, but we couldn't see them. And then talk about the man broke a, broke the bedhead. Okay, I broke the bedhead, but what about the other stuff that you said I broke on the day? They talked about him destroying her friend's um, bead, beaded thing or whatever. Literally, the picture was a glass of beads on a couch that was tipped over. Bro. Where's the destruction? <laughs> Tell them you. It was I, weird. I guess like e evidence is crucial, right? We, we, it's, we, it's not, of course we learned a lesson, but I appreciate Johnny Depp. He stood out. Oh, yeah. So right now people know it's about like, believe all women, it's not a good idea. Exactly. Because right now like, it's both really gender can get hurt by some whatever bully or whatever. It's not even bully, right? Yeah. So. Anybody and can it's, be it's, it's, it's Johnny Depp, right? Because if some kind of normal man or normal person, don't, people don't really care about him, right? So I think he, he took the bullet hard for six exactly. years. And a whole, whole career fucked up. So we can like look at this case and say, you know what? We need evidence. It's not believe all women, right? So, exactly. Geez. Sorry, alarm going off. But mm -hmm. you're right. The thing is, the average man, and I was having a conversation with this guy the other day about this. We were we were at this cafe and we were talking. And I said, he was asking me if I fall in the trial. I was like, yeah, I keep up with it. And he was like, what do you think? I said, I think that Johnny Depp doing this is kind of coming out as a symbol and a sign that, you know, other men can speak up. Because what most guys who are in his position are, are going to think is, you know, like, I'm going to look weak to go out there and say, yo, yeah, I've been abused. And then you're thinking about it. Look, this man, this star, this multimillionaire, he was being abused. He spoke out about it. You should too. And it's a part of the healing process that some men have to go through. Like the thing is this, right? A lot of times, most people get, men get painted as supposedly supposed to be stoic stonewall creatures that, you know, we don't feel anything. But in the same women who want us to, open up on an emotional spectrum if you put too much emotion out there they call you weak so if a woman slaps you hits you you're expected to take it because you're a man and then if you normalize that and it's all a part of creating a frame in your relationship too if you normalize that if you normalize being hit that's not going to turn out good there's this tv series that my wife watches um called 90 day fiance and this dude his name is bilal he brought this girl from trinidad and she slapped him in his head while they were driving and the cameras are recording. And my dude looks at her and he says, hey, 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 where I'm from, you keep your hands to yourself because I will not hesitate from pulling over and calling you an Uber so you can find yourself where we're going. And she was like, I'm playing. And I was like, I saw the footage. I was like, "Now nah, you weren't playing. You clapped this man. Like she slapped him on top of his head. And she's like, oh, and I'm like, bro, see, that man right there is creating that frame from early. He's like, yo, don't put your hands on me. And mm -hmm. that things like that, 
every, there's so many life lessons that people in just general society can take from Johnny Depp's case and men in the manosphere in black pill groups in whatever groups they want to be in. I don't even care which group of the manosphere you fall under. If you have been following this case, there's something for everybody to learn. Because at the end of the day, yes, you want to be that man. You want to be the one in control. But the thing is, there's always a social view to things. And if people outside ever for one moment heard that, yo, you're abusing your wife uh, or your girlfriend, and it was not true, they would not think about whether or not it's true. The first thing that would happen is the trail of gossip that falls behind you. I hear he's an abuser. That's all it is. Matter of fact, there was this one person who said something to the effect that, you know, it's not like she punched herself. And I'm like, bro, I saw footage from this woman who lived in Australia. She was trying to basically do hypergamy. She was trying to leech off of this man so she could provide for her family. The man found out some things about her. When he was going to leave her, she ran out of their house and stepped into the elevator and started punching herself in the face, whacking herself in the face, and then went to the police station. But like an oh, idiot, she... I, yeah, I know that news. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And she didn't realize that the security cameras in the elevator was already watching her because this man was about to be arrested. See? So we have to always assume that anything is possible. Yes, a man can be abused. A woman can fabricate evidence of said abuse. A woman can hurt herself and say she's been abused because at the end of the day, it's how you represent yourself. And if you as a man, you're out there not knowing that this person that you're living with has the potential to black her own eye and then go to the police station and have you scooped up. Like These are things that you have to be prepared for. You have to be able to judge the psyche of the person that you're with and know whether or not that person is with you for you or for the clout that you have and the fame that you possess. Because even when she said, oh, she auditioned for the role of Mira, she said that, but then she came home and she asked Johnny Depp, what can you do? And Johnny Depp said, well, I know executives at Warner Brothers and made three phone calls. And then he said, hey, I would like to think, he didn't say I got it for her, but he said, I would like to think that me using who I am to speak to these people helped to push it over the edge. And that's true because I'm telling you, if it wasn't for this case, I wouldn't have remembered that Amber Heard was the girl who played the guy's girlfriend in Never Bat Down. And Never Bat Down is a film about um, MMA fighting that me and my brother, we loved. And I still didn't remember that it was Amber Heard. She's played some roles, but all of them weren't hits. So Johnny Depp kind of did help to elevate her star. Well, so the last question, right? What do you think about you know the future of both Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? You know, <laughs> there was a there was a jackass news reporter who was at the his lawyer's speech when they were done. She said. Do you think Johnny Depp and Amber Heard will ever speak again? And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What kind of so, question is <laughs> in relation to their his, to their futures, all I'm going to say is Amber Heard is going to be paying for this for a long time. I hope Elon Musk, being the good cheating man that he was at the time, because she was with Elon Musk when she was still married to Johnny Depp. I hope <laughs> since he stepped in, and now that he owns Twitter, and all these other things that he's trying to do, Hopefully uh, he just I saw I saw some comments. I saw some comments, and people say, you know, Amber can ask the money from you know Elon Musk to pay that. that exactly, because I don't know who's gonna cast her right now. And at the same time, Johnny Depp is still one. He has all these things going on for him. He still has this cologne line that he's been representing, and it's been going off the shelf. And I'm sure the funny thing is, did you know that um, with the Fantastic Beast series that he um, so was supposed to be casted in. He was in the first one, Fantastic Beasts, which was kind of like a, what was it called again? Harry Potter spinoff. But then the mm -hmm. second one that he was supposed to be in, they they didn't, they didn't paid him for it, but they didn't cast him. So now there's all these opportunities open for him again. And I'm looking forward to any film that he gets cast in in the future because I'm a Johnny Depp fan. Like I've been one ever since Edward Scissorhands. So yeah. Yeah. Good for us that we can like, see Johnny Depp's in the movies again. Exactly. Finally. Okay, that's great.
Well, I think that this this result, I think I think most of the people you are satisfied with this result. Yeah. At least I am. It's like Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the toxic feminists, but everyone else with a rational mind should be just fine. Yeah. All right. So let us know what you think. All right. In the end yep. of leave your video. comments down below. Hello. Do you guys think that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard will ever talk again? <laughs> oh, will they sleep again? <laughs> Get the fuck oh, out yeah. of here. <laughs> it's like a revenge fuck, huh? <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.